One of the uh, inspirations for me behind the fellowship program has been that I have talked to a very, very broad range of people about uh, ballet and the future of ballet and about dance more generally. And one thing I've found is that people who think they don't know as much about ballet but are very interested in it will say things like, oh, I'm really not qualified to talk about that, or, oh, I just don't know enough. And then they tell me something incredibly interesting about this art form. I mean, I wouldn't have had the opportunity to do the ballet, uh, work on the ballet of Titty Cut Follies if I hadn't met Jennifer, if she hadn't invited me to come to the center, uh, if as a result of the work at the center she hadn't put me in touch with James Sewell. So the idea behind the fellowship program is to provide a level of support that allows a fellow over a period of anything from a month to a year to come here and focus primarily on the work they're doing here, on the project that they bring. So we provide a certain amount of material support, we have apartments, we have an office for each fellow. Being at the center is of course incredible because you're in New York. You also have access to an office and to the libraries, uh, the performing arts libraries up the road. So, um, you know, there's access to all kinds of research here that's been very valuable indeed. People come from all different fields. They have a fascination with ballet. They come up with a project and they're here to explore it. My biggest excitement about coming to the Center for Ballet was to find out more about how dancers hear music and how we can work together to make new choreography. And we know that sometimes things come to great fruition and sometimes they're a project that begins here and maybe we'll have some application or product in uh, a decade. It's really in that sense truly a research center and a place of experimentation so that people aren't expected to produce anything in particular. You don't have to walk out of here with a book or a ballet. You just have to walk out of here having explored the field in a serious way. For me, the center is a place to uh, really explore in a way that you can't in the commercial world without the pressure to uh, you know, produce a commercial product. In the, be in the beginning when I stopped dancing, the reason I stopped dancing was because the only people I ever spoke to were dancers and choreographers and people in, in that insular world. And so this really, you know, allows you to be with other kinds of thinkers, you know, other kinds of brains, and also really amazing brains, like people who are like incredible at what they do. I don't want to give up my office. I mean, I was asking them, can I stay? Why can't I stay? But I loved it. It's a form of luxury, really, to have a place like that that's so private and quiet and you, and yet at the same time is very, you have um, company. You know, if you want a cup of tea, you can come out and you meet somebody else who's also getting a cup of tea and you chat and it's great. It's ideal.